um, in this video we're going to talk about payment forms for WordPress pay start payment forms for WordPress so our payment forms are exactly what they are they are forms that you can use to receive payments um, on your WordPress site on any WordPress site they are by far our most uh, versatile and general purpose uh, WordPress plugin they are unlike other WordPress plugins that are specific for uh, specific purposes like uh, the WooCommerce plugin for uh, WooCommerce and you know easy digital download and all other specific plugins this one is more general purpose and it can be used on any WordPress site so jumping right in uh, to install it you go to your plugins and click on add new and um, you search for the plugin it's called Paystack Payment Form. I think. Uh, so you can already see the plugin here, Payment Forms for Paystack. You can uh, activate, install and activate it like I've already done. And so moving on, when you do that, you're going to see this option here on your WordPress dashboard, Paystack Forms. So as you can see, uh, there are no forms yet before we start creating forms please go to API key settings and you're gonna need to copy your API keys from your dashboard uh, so go to your paystack dashboard uh, settings and API keys and copy these secret keys and pop uh, the live keys and the test key and fill them in here uh, the next setting here is the mode so if you're on test mode your site can only receive test payments using the test keys if you're on live mode that is when you're ready to start receiving live payments so the test mode is you know when you're testing things out uh, so we're going to leave it there for now you can click on save changes and continue uh, so next we're going to create a new payment form uh, so click on add new and so uh it's a good place to mention now that the payment forms can be used for uh, pretty much anything from receiving donations uh, to receiving payments for events for you know book anything you want to receive payments for you can use the payment form to do it so we're gonna use this payment form now to receive concert tickets uh, payments for concerts all right so um, the most the two most important things that you need to know about this is the name of the form and the amount section the amount section um, is how you state how you want to collect the payment so if I enter a value here say we want to receive 5,000 naira for uh, the concert uh, then the user is going to need to pay 5,000 naira if I don't enter any amount at all uh, you see here that uh, user will now enter an amount so this makes this a donation form uh, so there are a lot of other things that you can configure on the payment form so to learn more about the payment form please visit uh, paystack.com slash help and come to this section that says setting up paystack and open how to set up paystack payment forms for WordPress every single option that is on this WordPress plug on this payment forms plugin was discussed in depth in this article and so you learn exactly how to configure each of the uh, options and features on the payment form to achieve what you want to achieve so this is by far by far our most powerful plugin you can do everything from collecting subscription payments to collecting donations to using split payments um, pretty much anything that uh, Paystar can do uh, can almost be done with this plugin so great now we've set an our, our amount and so I'm going to introduce just one of the features here called quantity payments since it's concert tickets we want people to be able to buy more than one so quantity payment allows people to uh, pay multiple uh, for multiple quantities of whatever it is you're receiving uh, payments for with using the payment forms uh, you can see how it is appropriate for concert tickets so maximum that 
uh, you can pay for is 10 at a time. So if you're receiving donations, for example, you don't need quantity payments. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and publish this. Um, so as soon as you do that, you notice that a short code was created for this payment form. So what to do is to copy the short code. Uh, the short code that is going to be pasted in your WordPress page where you want to receive the payments. So next we create a page, like a regular uh, WordPress page. So we click on add new. Uh, so this is the page where you, you know, your normal WordPress page where you discuss uh, the upcoming concert and everything. Uh, so the way payment forms work is you copy the short code that was generated when you created the payment forms and you embed it in a page. So this page is called uh, our awesome concert. So um, you can add more content to it. Our awesome concert is here again. Please make payments below. And then we're gonna paste the short code uh, of the of the uh, payment forms and publish. Um, so we can go ahead and visit the page on our site. Now you see that the page and the, uh, the details of the uh, payment forms are already on the page. So uh, we go ahead and populate this now. So filling this in, my name is Mr. Ob, and my email address is Mr. At ob .com. Uh, So this is a uh, 5,000 naira ticket. So you see that because we set a fixed amount, you cannot edit this page. If it were a donation page, if we didn't if we put a fixed amount, I would have been able to enter any amount we like. So now we want to pay for five tickets and you can choose to enter your phone number uh, good and then we click on pay so this is what your customer will see now remember that we left this on test mode that is why you see test card here and this big red banner that says this is test mode so uh, if you are ready to receive live payments please make sure to switch this off uh, switch back to live mode so that uh, people can make actual live payments all right so now we are done thank you for paying when you log in back to your uh, to your wordpress dashboard uh, you're going to go back to payment forms you see this payment form that has been created you can see number of payments one uh, and you can view payments you see the payment that has been made, see the detail that the person filled in, how much he paid, his email address and the transaction code. Alright, so once again, please, uh, there is so much that can be done with the payment forms. It can be configured in so many ways. Because it's a form, you can add more fields. You can do a lot of things here. So you can see we only took phone number. You can add extra fields. But everything you need to learn about using the payment forms is on this article and it's going the link to this article is going to be put uh, on the document on the video description so please um, open the article and go through it you're going to learn how to uh, configure the payment forms to suit your exact needs so thank you very much for watching good night